Away from Berger. They're screaming for an outlift. Creole. LaRue to his inside. Oh, that is sensational from the Springboks. I am that player, yes. The one that was selected to play for my country and wear the green and gold and take to the field to represent each and every rugby player in the country, but only got to finish one of my four World Cup tournaments. In 2003, I was selected to play in the World Cup in Australia, but injured myself in the last warm-up game when I dislocated my shoulder. In 2007, I was part of the team in France, where I tore my bicep in the opening game. In 2001, in New Zealand, in the first game, I popped two ribs, so missed a number of games after that but eventually played in the quarter-final against Australia, which we lost. My fourth attempt was in 2015 in England, this time as Springbok captain, where I fractured my jaw in the second game. I could not believe my bad luck. Having worked so hard to earn the privilege of representing my country on the rugby field, to be let down on the biggest stage of the sport was devastating for me. But it was only due to the world-class medical treatment I was able to get that got me back in the Springbok jersey again. When looking back at my rugby career, I feel so fortunate to have played so many games for my country and my province. I then think of others whom I know who have not had this privilege. This makes me grateful for what I was given. Despite all my injuries, none of them were serious enough to put me out of the game forever, and none of them permanent. In other words, they were disappointing, but not life-changing. There are many who have suffered much worse disabling injuries and are now living lives in wheelchairs or on crutches. They will never run onto a rugby field and catch a rugby ball again. These facts keep my sense of disappointment in perspective and make me realize how lucky I have been to have had such a wonderful rugby career. I'm so grateful that help for these seriously injured rugby players is available. The Players Fund is a charity which was set up more than 40 years ago to support our rugby players at all levels of the game who are unable due to disabling injuries to their head, neck and spine to live normal lives. Like me, John de Villiers, You have a chance to help the Players Fund continue the amazing work that they do by making a once-off donation, a regular monthly payment, or will you perhaps think about pledging to the Players Fund in your will? National Wills Week takes place from the 13th to the 17th of September, and the Law Society of South Africa has listed on their website participating legal firms in all provinces that will help you draft or amend your will free of charge. If you already have a will in place, you can simply add your wishes to allocate a gift to the Players Fund by completing a document called a codicil to include with your will. I would like to end with a quote, What you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others.